But, you know, lately, um, I feel a bit embarrassed and, and a bit strange talking about this, but I'm 46, I've got a busy life, I've got two kids, um, and I'm very lucky to have all of that in my life. And I've had, you know, in the, my younger days, a fantastic sexual life, but recently, I feel like... I, I just, it's, it, I love my husband, I, he's, I'm the most amazing man in the world, I've been 11 years, been married to him, but lately I just find I just, I'm not, I'm not interested, just I to. just don't want to do it, I so don't... So you haven't gone off him really, it's not just at you, all. your sexual desire has gone. That's right, I, my, I, I, I absolutely haven't gone, gone off him because we cuddle up and watch TV and I love all of the cuddling and stuff, but when it comes to sex I'm finding that I'm making excuses, mm. like, oh I'm really tired and it starts at six o'clock well, in the are afternoon. you really tired. Yeah. <laughs> It's at yeah. six o'clock in the afternoon, and recently I've noticed that I'm at six o'clock. As soon as he walks through the door, I'm like, like a panic. Like, it's a panic, <laughs> and it's kind of like all of us. I'll be fine. Then all of a sudden, I say, "Oh, I'm so tired. I've done this today. I've had to run off and do this today." <laughs> and, and by the time I've gone so to bed, you're doing like an almost an early warning. Like, don't think when we get to bed that's going to happen. Yeah. That's I'm tired. right. Yeah. That, and this has happened sort of quite regularly. And also the other day, I came down. I, I looked really nice. I was going to a business meeting, and he came down. He paid me a compliment. He said, "Oh, you look really nice. You look right." I went, "Yes, okay, then. Bye. See you later." I'm going to <laughs> This stuff and, I, and, and is it one, but it's worrying. Body, yeah. But my body as well is just not in that place. No, is this normal? Am I? Yeah. Is you this... said you're busy, yeah. and therefore you're tired. And you know, any sort of sex expert, for want of a better phrase, will tell you that tiredness mm. is is one of the great sort of robbers of sexual drive. Mm, yeah. You know, because it's just like, oh my god, it's another thing I've got to fit in to the day. So, <laughs> but, you know, it's but funny. Jane, it's I, true. I'll tell you know, you what, you've, really... got to, you've got to make, you've got to do maybe what Nadia did. Nadia was talking about it on Friday because she was saying she'd had the same situation. And in the end, she just said, we've got to just make time. And, and it's almost like the anticipation is greater than the, yeah. than when you actually She went off to a hotel, there. didn't she? They yeah. did it like a she did, hotel. Yeah. Well, no, but just for the afternoon. Just, you know, there's no distractions, no kids. You've, you've kind of planned it. You know it's there. You're not, there's not that pressure. But, but, do you know, what, okay, Colleen, I, I was going to say to you, though, before that, I feel like I'm the only one... Was, that's what that's, I'm going to say. That I feel like I'm the only one this You're is happening not. to. And that actually, everybody else has got the best no. sex life in the world. They're oh. all doing it, and it's just me that's abnormal. If you read sex surveys, everybody Honestly, lies. Honestly, you're, you're, you're really <laughs> not the yeah. only one. I get so many letters from, from men and women, actually. Women who have reached a certain age, have kids, really. Mm. And, and then what happens is, because it becomes um, such a subject that they don't, you know, they're both aware of, then the whole thing becomes just mm. a, a mess where well, they don't it. talk about it or they're frightened. The elephant in and the then room, the men yeah. write in saying, I, you know, I've tried everything, I just don't feel she fancies me anymore. They take it as a real kick to their pride. And, and I've, I've got to that I, I got to that stage where I actually said to my husband, you're going to be really shocked that I said, I said, look, I'm just not in that place. Just, if you really want to go and go with somebody else, oh, just go and... Did I you? know. Did you? But you but I, because I wanted to make him go. happy. Yeah. Because I want to make him happy. He wouldn't do that. And, I oh, God, he's going to kill me for talking about this on national TV. But, but I, I just want to... I just want somebody, if they're feeling you're like this, they're, 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 they're not alone. You're not alone. You're not alone. You're not alone. But I think alone. Colleen's right, is that it, it's obviously become this sort of, you know... And, and you know, whenever you read anything about articles in newspapers or whatever about sex therapy or whatever they call it, they always, half the time, they say, they ban you. They say, right, you yeah. are not to have sex for six weeks or whatever. So they remove that kind of... Yeah. pressure, isn't pressure, it? Pressure, yeah. And then people find that that works mm. quite a lot. I think, I think people, people lie, like Cyrus. Have, this people is, lie. Yeah. Yeah. So nobody yeah. wants to say... Is it like this say, forever? Is it going to... Like, I don't I'm know. I'm sure is it won't it... be. I'm sure it won't be. But I think, you know, the fact that you're talking about it, A, you're obviously concerned, cos you know it's not what you and your husband would normally be like together, so you're clearly concerned about it, which means you care. Cos I think if you didn't care, it wouldn't yeah. bother you, would it? You just think, well, I don't really care what he thinks. But you do, and I'm sure you know, because your children are still very young, mm. you know, so I'm sure you'll get, you'll get your mojo back, mm. but I think you have to maybe address it but, and put and some... Yeah, but don't you, you think as on... well... Sorry. sorry, don't you think as well that we all, and I think <coughs> we're probably all guilty of this, when you get married and you have your kids and a few years have gone by, you do get into that rut as well mm. of not consciously actually making the effort yeah. as much anymore because the Everyone's going, mm. <laughs> All the women are... Mm. Mm. Yeah. Eating in the same restaurant every night. <laughs> Yeah. But, remember, but, but you know, you said you, cud you, said you cuddle. Just interested. You said you cuddle, yeah. which is good, because normally when people stop, you know, or lose their sex drive, they lose the intimacy as yeah. well, yeah. which women oh, no. like. Yeah, yeah. But also, you quite often equate 
sex with love. To me, it's all all mixed up together. You know, so if somebody doesn't want to make love to you, then you start questioning, yeah. does he love me? Does he still love me? Does she still love me? Definitely. So the two go together, don't they? But what they? about the ladies in the audience? Is this something that you can relate to? Or am I the only one? There's a few nodding heads there. <laughs> They're going, yes, yes, that's me. <laughs> When you said, oh, you know, or Colleen just said, we just get out of the habit of making the effort. Yeah. A lot of women went, oh, yeah. <laughs> I think we're all a bit guilty of that because, you know, it's... it's so sometimes, get you know, used if to you each don't, other. if you're really not in the mood, sometimes it only takes 20 seconds for you to be in the mood. <laughs> <laughs> and then it's over in 20 seconds, so... You know, it's <laughs> I feel, I feel very kind of embarrassed that I'm talking about no, my no, life like be. this, but I just feel like it's something that it's... if I can share, hopefully other women out there yeah. can, and that you feel that it's not an abnormal thing, it's part Another of life. Yeah. 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 For more Loose Women action, click here. And I'd subscribe if I were you. It's totally free and it means you'll be kept up to date with new videos and exclusive YouTube content. There's flirting and putting yourself onto someone flirting. And I think mm. if you do that when you're with someone, that's really disrespectful. But, um, but what would you... I, I, am a, a I am a If I walk in a place and they're looking at me, I just think they're drunk. <laughs> But you, you're a massive flirt. All right, Andrew. <laughs>